morning y'all it is about 11 a.m and i'm off today and tomorrow i just got back from my first trip back last night and i was exhausted from that trip so i slept in late this morning this afternoon i'm going to pick up my friend's dog from the vet she just had surgery or something she's the cutest little dog she's like literally three pounds i'm not sure what kind of dog she is but i'm sure some of y'all will know when you see her that is really the only thing that i have to do today before i leave i really want to get a video posted and i need to work on the thumbnail for that video. I also have neglected my berry plants, so I'm gonna go check on those. This poor blueberry plant, I'm gonna take him inside. I feel like the blackberry plant's looking good though. I think I'm also gonna stop at Kroger today and get a couple things. I ran out of my favorite Starbucks iced coffee today that I always get. I just could never get the hang of this thing. If you make coffee in one of these little, I don't know what this is called, iced coffee jug, cold brew coffee jug, if you use one of these and you make good coffee with it, please tell me how because I just could not get the hang of it. So I've been spending so much money on that Starbucks iced coffee, but it's so delicious. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go to Kroger first. I just need to get a couple of things. And then I'm gonna go pick up Penny. My friend McKenna said that she would probably just wanna sit in my lap and I was like, okay. Okay, so first of all, did y'all know about this? Chick-fil-A sauce in a 16 fluid ounces, a pint? I mean, did y'all know about this and not tell me that this existed? How did I not know that this was a thing. Oh my goodness, this makes me want Chick-fil-A. I, I, I don't know how I had no idea that they sold Chick-fil-A sauce like this. Also, Kroger didn't have my coffee that I love, so I'm trying out a new one. Chameleon cold brew coffee. Okay, now I'm gonna go pick up Penny. Penny is 21 minutes away. <laughs> Poor baby. It's okay. It's okay. You know me. I'm McKenna's friend. Oh, she hates the thing on her head. She's so confused. How am I gonna put my seatbelt on? Y'all, she was like gripping my hand with her little paws. Excuse me. She's wagging her tail. Let's see. Oh. Bless her little doggy heart. She's so cute though. Okay. Now that we're calmed down, she's so teeny tiny. Okay, let's go home. She is just sitting here <laughs> watching me edit. How freaking cute. Do you wanna be in the video, Penny? Good morning, y'all. It's about 10 a.m. I'm just having my iced coffee. Really, the only thing that I have to do today is just deep clean this place. I need to do some laundry, and I just want to have this place really clean and organized because it's been messy for a while. I also never unpacked from my trip that I got in from a few days ago, so I'm either gonna unpack or just like repack because I'm on call again tomorrow and I'm on call for five days. I also just have a feeling that they're gonna get me for a standby tomorrow. You can never know, but I just feel like it's coming because I haven't had a standby yet. But yeah, other than that, I'm just gonna deep clean this place, get a little bit organized, get my life together. And I wanted to go for a walk or a run outside today, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because it's kind of gloomy, looks like it's gonna rain. Actually, this way it looks sunny and this way it looks really gloomy, so I don't know. First, I'm gonna do the dishes. Dishes are probably my least favorite thing to do. So I'm gonna get that out of the way and then I need to do some laundry and I'm gonna vacuum. I always use this Comet stuff 
to clean my sink and just make it nice and shiny. I use this probably like once a week maybe. So I'll leave this for like five minutes and then I'll just scrub it out and rinse it. And I've been using this Miss Myers cleaning spray just to wipe down my countertops and everything. Miss um, Myers is not worth it in my opinion, but <laughs> I'm gonna use this stuff up because it's pricey. I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these whites in the laundry. And this is what I use to keep everything super white. So I'll just use like a scoop of this and it keeps everything pretty white. I mostly just wanted to wash my pillowcases because my self tanner gets all over them and it just looks gross. Okay, and now for the star of the show, I'm gonna vacuum. I'm very excited that I got to work with Hoover for this video today. So thanks to Hoover for sending me this and for sponsoring this video. I've been using a cordless vacuum for probably about a year now. If you're still using a vacuum with a cord, what are you doing with your life? This thing is amazing. It makes life so much easier and I use it on my carpet and my hardwood. So it comes with these different pieces and then this so you can hang it on the wall and then it also comes with this so that you can recharge the battery. Obviously need to put this in there before I use it. It's super light and easy to move around. It's nice and small, so it's perfect for my little apartment. And I just love this thing. So right here is where you see the battery power and then here's where you turn it on. And then the plus button makes it go faster, or slower, whatever you need. Okay, I know this is kind of gross, but look at all that this thing picked up. That is amazing. I will leave this linked below in the description box if anybody is looking for a new cordless vacuum. This is a great one, I highly recommend. Okay, so it's actually turned out to be very nice outside. So I think I'm gonna go for a walk or something. I could just sit out here on my balcony, um, maybe edit a video or something out here. Oh, but it's lovely. My body is still so exhausted from my trip. I don't really know why it's so exhausted, but um, I mean, my body is drained and like, I feel like I can see it in my face. Like, I'm drained. Okay, so I was on my way to the grocery. Um, I figured I should probably go to Trader Joe's since I'm gonna be on call for five days starting tomorrow. And I wanna have food ready to go, but I really don't wanna go. But anyways, I stopped at my PO box on my way there. And I got a package from Jamie & Co, which she sent me stuff before and she sent me my all-time favorite sweatshirt, the SEC one. So I figured I'd open it and show y'all what she sent me. Let's see what we got. Oh, this looks so cute. Howdy, 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 howdy. Oh, super cute. I love that. Oh, this is cute. These are very in right now. These graphic tees. Oh yes, wow. Yes, oh my gosh, yes. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Thank you, Janie, if you're watching this. So it's a little lounge set. Oh, the material is really cozy too. I love that. I love floral dresses. Such a cute spring dress. Love that, the back is really cute. Okay, looks like another lounge set. Oh my gosh, so cozy. So this one's long sleeve, so soft, so cozy love and she gave me a discount code for y'all if you want to use kc10 and you can get 10 percent off your order so i'll leave her website to her online boutique in the description box all right it's one o'clock i haven't eaten yet i could go to chick-fil-a but i shouldn't but i could okay so trader joe's was packed first of all and also it was colder than usual in there it was freezing in there so needless to say i did not last long in trader joe's okay so it is 2 p.m i just got home i haven't eaten yet today and i'm feeling like maybe that's why there is just no pep in my step right now so last night i was watching this girl's youtube video where she made like a homemade pizza in her air fryer with these low carb tortillas 
and then just like mozzarella cheese and pepperoni. I don't remember if she used like a pizza sauce, but I don't have that. So we're just gonna go with what we have. So I'm gonna try to make this. She didn't say how long to put it in the air fryer for, so I'm just gonna guess. This seem fit. I don't know if my air fryer is thick enough for this. And you know what? If this sucks, we're going to Chick-fil-A. Okay, I'm gonna do some seasoning. What kind of seasoning? Italian? Garlic? This is kind of fun. That was a lot. Maybe a little, oh, okay, that was a lot. I guess maybe it could go on last, but eh, whatever. We're, we're already committed. How am I gonna get this out of the air fryer is the question. Do a little more cheese. Here goes nothing. Here's what it looks like. Oh my goodness, y'all. I don't know if it's just me, but I think this looks amazing. I think I'm gonna put a little more seasoning on it. All right, taste test, here we go. That's really good, wow. This is genius. I'm so impressed with this. All right, so it's about five o'clock now. I got my reserve assignment for tomorrow and I got wrap B. So I'm on call from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow. I've just been editing a video and I also self tanned and I use the Loving Tan Two Hour Express in Dark. This is my favorite self tanner. If you are a person who self tans, listen up because I'm gonna save you a ton of money. Stop using these. Stop using these little tanning mitts. They soak up so much product. Start using these medical gloves. They're super cheap. I think I got these at Target and it's like a pack of 30. You will use so much less self tanner when you start using these. You already know I got this tip from TikTok, but it has made such a huge difference. And I feel like it's really nice too, to be able to use both hands. So whenever I self tan, I use two of these one on each hand and it's just like rubbing in lotion or something like it's so much easier than using these little things and you just go through the self tanner so much slower because it doesn't soak up all your product so I just saved you a bunch of money if you're a self tanner user you're welcome my luggage is still sitting here by the door even though I said I was gonna unpack and repack today whoops all right so I think that is pretty much it for my day I just have Bible study tonight and I think before that I'm gonna go for a walk um, because it is so nice outside and I've been inside like all day. I hope that you enjoyed this video and just spending a couple days off with me. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.